Okay, Seba. I look at myself. Yeah, yeah. You know. How does um, Capoeira and Samba translate into Brazilian football and make it special and unique? I think, uh, again, as I mentioned before, uh, Brazilian football is about happiness, it's about playing with the style, and the style is, is the, what you call Ginga style. Right? And where does it come from? Ginga comes from Capoeira and Samba. And Ginga means body sway. So when the, the poor people, or the majority was black people who was heavily involved with capoeira and samba, we could see a, see a huge difference in the way that Brazilians start play when they start playing. With this idea of more uh, slow down the pace, in a sense it's not just kicking the ball right in your own dimension, it's also use the whole field a little bit slower, but with more flamboyance. And this is this, those flamboyance and that jingle style comes from capoeira. The names are actually the same. Yeah. And do you think that's why Brazilian, Brazil is so good at football? And why I think it is. To a, to, a, to a certain extent, it's not just about the style. Right? The key point here in the research that is, we do, it's because demands high level of perception or skills. If you don't, you do the, kinematically speaking, if everything is stiff, your ankle or knee and, and hip is just straight and play, you don't have this mobility when as when you have this samba skills or capoeira skills that we transfer to football and that's why for Brazilian football famously around the world they call the samba boys it is they are the samba boys too.